Hey baby. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I really hope you did. I uh, sort of didn't. <laughs> so hard to sleep without you. just doesn't feel right. I'm sure it'll get easier, and I know you're not away for that long, but I just didn't expect it to affect me this much. On the first night too, you know for a little bit I was almost looking forward to it, like, oh yeah, an evening all to myself and a bed to myself. Imagine all the, the room I'll have. I'll be able to spread right out. But all I've been able to think about is how much I'd rather, you know, cuddle up with you and just be nice and cozy in bed. I miss just the feeling of your presence there. When I first woke up, it just felt like something was really wrong. Like, before my brain had fully switched on, I could tell there was something missing. It was like a instinctive feeling that something wasn't there that should be. And I immediately made me feel so sad. <laughs> I feel so stupid, I feel so, I feel so needy, I just, yeah, it was that, that instinctive feeling when I woke up that you weren't there, and I turned over and you weren't, and it was like, you know, if you You know when you have a dream, or a, a bad dream, and then when you wake up from it you aren't sure what's, what's real and what's not? Well, it was kind of like that. It was like, it was like waking up from a bad dream, except the moment I woke up that was the bad dream, and then it was real. <laughs> anyway, I really, I really miss you. I hope that it wasn't as hard a night for you without me as it has been for me without you. I, I'm not in trouble or anything. I don't want you to be worried about me. You, I know you're really busy today, so if you don't have time to get back to me, that's totally fine. Just know that if you do listen to this, when you wake up, if you haven't already woken up and started doing stuff, just, uh, I'm thinking about you, and I really miss you. And all I can think about now, before I get out of bed, is how normally we'd, you know, snuggle up and cuddle for a bit before getting out of bed. And I'm looking at that empty space on the mattress where you belong, and... You aren't there. <laughs> Love you, honey. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Hey again, babe. How's your day been? Thanks for staying in touch a little bit throughout the day. I really appreciated that, even though you were so busy. It's nice to hear from you a couple times, and I'm glad you're I'm glad you're having fun. I'm glad things are going well. I've had an okay day. I got a little bit of cleaning in. I actually cooked for myself. I didn't order in, like you said. <laughs> like you said I would. No, I cooked. I mean, it was nothing special. It was just, uh, just some pasta. But, you know, I cooked it. And it's... <laughs> 
it wasn't great. <laughs> I overdid it. It was uh, it was a little mushy. I I don't see. But hey, at least I uh, at least I did a good job on the washing up, you know, like I always do. <laughs> That's my job. Now it's getting late and I'm trying to get used to the idea of the end of the night without you. And I'm not really looking forward to it. But, you know, I think it will be easier than the first night. Hopefully. I'm going to just try to focus on the positives. Um, what are the positives? Well... I do have plenty of space, but I already found out that isn't really what I want. Maybe, maybe it means I can just think about whatever I want in bed and talk to myself a little bit without bothering you. Yeah, I can think about what we might do if, if we were together. If you were here, I'd, I'd be able to touch you, and I'd be able to feel how soft your skin is, and your heartbeat, and I'd be able to, I'd be able to smell your hair, <laughs> which, in any context other than this, might be a little creepy, but I think it's okay if you're sleeping next to someone to smell their hair. It is okay, right? I mean, I love the smell of your hair, so try and stop me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to imagine that you're right here next to me in bed. And if I... If I... Take your pillow... Yeah. This... This could work. It's... Just like it's you. Except... A little more active. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It, uh... Yeah. Even kind of smells like you a little bit, but it's kind of missing, you know, some important parts, which sucks. Because, uh, you know, on a night like this, all I, all I want to do is, is touch you and uh, cuddle up to you. Maybe do more than that. Who knows? I am. Um, I don't mind if you're not thinking about me. I know you've got lots going on. I just uh, hope you're hope you're having a good time. I'm not doing too bad. Just missing your warmth and your touch so much. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you get back, <coughs> I'm definitely going to have learned to. <coughs> value that a little more. <laughs> I know you didn't go away to teach me a lesson or anything, but, well, it feels like I'm going to have learned one. I just realised I'm still dressed. I've been so muddled up today. Every time I turned around I expected to see you there, you know, on the, next to me on the sofa in the living room or coming in to get a drink or something when I was doing the washing up. Every little noise I heard, the house settling, I thought, oh that's, that's you. So I kept having these funny little moments 
It's kind of like waking up again. Where I realised that, you know, it wasn't you. But that's, that's okay. It's only a few days. Really love you, hon. Can't wait to see you again. Hey honey, I'm sorry it's another silly little message from me, but I just can't sleep. God, what time is it? Like, 3am? Yeah, it's 3am. And I keep having these moments where I'm I'm almost asleep, but then, you know when it feels like you're like, you've fallen onto your mattress, and you're suddenly like, oh, and you jerk awake. That doesn't usually happen to me all that much, but I don't know. I'm just really on edge. And you not being here, uh, it's like, I think it's, I keep getting that feeling like something's wrong, and it's keeping me up. I don't want you to feel guilty or anything, it's obviously not your fault, but I'm just, uh, just venting. I really love you, and this is just making me realise it so much more. I feel so needy. <laughs> I feel so, so needy. It's making me feel like a kid. Like a... You know at the start of a relationship, when you're really, really clingy with someone, and then you kind of mellow out and everything's okay and you reach a kind of equilibrium, like we've had for so long. This is just making it feel like it's... <laughs> right there. Right at the start of the relationship again. It's almost nice. This intensity of feeling, you know, missing you so much. If I've ever made you feel like I took you for granted and assumed you'd always be around, I'm sorry. And Well, it's definitely not going to happen after this. Just can't stop thinking about what, what I'd want to do if you were here. I know that if, if I was having trouble sleeping and you were here next to me, you'd, you'd help me out even if you were still half asleep, you know, I'd be able to just quietly tell you that I couldn't sleep too good and I know that even just something you mumbled under your breath would give me so much comfort and you don't think about things like that until they're not available to you anymore <laughs> I'm talking like you're gone forever it's so silly I know you're going to be back just a couple of days, but I just, I can't get you off my mind. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to think about you for a bit longer and maybe do something to relax myself a little bit while I think about you. Not sure what yet. Maybe once I've figured it out, you'll get another little voice note from me, but maybe not. Um, uh, yeah, I'll go for now, and uh, I love you. I'll be leaving.